It's, it's quite swift, actually, the, the whole process of getting the, the spacecraft. Brace for capsule lift. Bracing. There it goes, Dragon Freedom being lifted out of the water and onto our recovery vessel, Megan. So once securely on... Uh... Welcome aboard the recovery vessel. Recovery personnel are completing final checks and stand by for translation to the egress platform. Freedom copies. Great news there, letting us know that Dragon Freedom has been successfully recovered from the water's surface. If you've just joined us, we had an on-time splashdown at 5.57 p.m. Eastern Time, and we can now see that the uh, water recovery operations uh, are continuing to progress. The nest where the Dragon spacecraft is located is going to um, get moved forward. This will happen after one of the recovery crew members uh, does some checks and uh, we'll also see some hosing. Obviously, the spacecraft splashed down in salt water. Salt water is corrosive and we want to try and rinse out as much of the salt water as possible to reduce that corrosion uh, on the metallic structures. So we can see some guidance there being provided, really steering the spacecraft uh, properly into the dragon's nest. And it's been 30 minutes since Dragon splashed down. And as you can see there, the spacecraft is already on board the recovery vessel, Megan. Things continuing to move very smoothly today throughout the entire operations from the deorbit burn um, up until this point as well. And Freedom, it looks like the positioning wasn't quite right. So they are working on repositioning the capsule in the nest now. Okay, copy that. Thanks. And with that, the team is just going to adjust uh, the Dragon spacecraft a bit so that it's in the right position ahead of translating up a little bit closer ahead of the side hatch. So the team is now going to step through the procedures to uh, ensure that that takes place. While Dragon does fly itself autonomously, it clearly is unable to park itself autonomously. We want to make sure that the Dragon capsule is properly seated there in that nest. Once the once Dragon is fully seated in the nest, we'll probably see a bunch of that salt water come out from the bucket there located underneath the the, the side hatch. See some salt water splash out. As I mentioned before, one of the recovery team members will begin uh, hosing down the exterior of the spacecraft. So you are continuing to get some great live views on your screen of Crew 9, which includes NASA astronauts Nick Haig, Sonny Williams, Butch Wilmore, and Roscosmos cosmonaut Alexander uh, Gorbanov, who splashed down off the coast of Tallahassee, Florida, 2.57 p.m. Pacific time this afternoon. Now working to uh, get that spacecraft uh, situated in the nest. Just making some final adjustments and tweaks to ensure that it's nice and secure. Once the spacecraft is uh, seated and secured and oriented correctly in the nest, Dragon will be moved 
into the hangar located underneath that helipad that we saw earlier from the aerial views during recovery. 